For those of you that do not read the blog, yesterday's tip was about how you can go to System Preferences, Energy Saver, Schedule, and schedule your Mac to wake up and go to sleep when you want. Now, if we combine this with a Launch D process or Launch Daemon, uh, which kind of automates your system, we can have an Apple Script run every day when you wake up. So your computer wakes up before you do, runs an Apple Script, and then you wake up and you can hop on your computer. And you don't have to have a cup of coffee before you can check your email. I'm gonna show you how you can do this. To do this, we're gonna be using a piece of software called Lingon. Lingon allows you to manipulate the Launch D processes. So that way, it's just easier to set up. You could do it with plain text files, but this is much easier. Go to lingon.sourceforge.net or click on the link on the right hand side, and then download your pre appropriate version. This version is for Tiger users, and this version is for Leopard users. Once you download it, open it up. We'll open up Lingon, and this is the window you're presented with. Click on the New button in the upper left hand corner, Select My Agents, and click on the Create button. Now, this is the Expert Mode, and if you're in this mode, go to Basic Mode in the lower right-hand corner. For name, we'll be doing com dots, our first name, my name, first name is Oliver, dot morning dot routine. This is to give it a distinct identifier, so that way, when we have a uh, another process, we can name it com.oliver.afternoon routine and then it doesn't get confused by your computer. Now for the what. The what is by far the hardest part of this. For this we'll need script editor. To open up script editor, go to finder, hit command shift A to jump to your applications folder. Go to the Apple script folder, then script editor. Or you just do a spotlight search for script editor and I'll come right up. This is what your script editor window looks like, and we are going to write a simple little Apple script that's going to open up mail, check for new mail, and then it'll open up a couple links. To do this, start off, we'll open up mail, so we'll say tell app mail run, and this tells us to open it up, check for new mail, and tell. Now we'll compile that. Uh, to compile it, you use Command K. We'll hit return. And we'll do open location, and then we'll put our link here. Now this link will open up whenever we run the Apple script. Okay, there we go. So we have our link, and we have check for new mail, and we could put in more if we wanted. We we could do something like um, we'll do MacBytes.com. And we can just keep doing that and your default browser will open up those links. Now I don't think I have mail set up on this account, but when we run the Apple script, it launches mail and opens these two links inside our default browser. Now, what we want to do is we want to save it. But first, I forgot about this, we need to add a delay. Now, on my MacBook, I don't know if this applies to iMacs or not, but on my MacBook, when I wake it up, it takes a bit for the internet to connect. So we're going to delay this 20 seconds to give the internet a time, a chance to connect. Now we'll hit Command Shift S, and we're going to save it to our Documents folder, and we're going to call this Morning. Dot script S C P T. Save it as a script, and don't mess with any of that. We'll say Save, and that's it. We can quit Script Editor, and I'm going to go to Terminal. Go to your Applications folder, Command Shift A, and go down to the Utilities folder, which is right here. Now find Terminal.app and open it up. Now we need to type in OSASCRIPT, OSA script, space, then we'll go to Finder, we'll go to our Home folder, well, Documents folder, there we go, and we'll drag Morning.script onto our Terminal window. We'll just drop it on, and it fills out the thing for us. Now, if we hit return, it will run the Apple script.
There we go. Launches mail, checks for new mail, and opens up math bytes. And opens up MacTipper.com. Now I'll switch back to terminal, and we will copy this right here. That is our what. We'll copy it, switch over to Lingon, paste it in. Now when we copied it, there was a return there. So we have to delete the return, and there we go. It's OSA script space slash user slash Mac dipper slash document slash morning dot script. That's it. Now for number three, when. When is at a specific date every day. And we're going to set this to 526 a.m. So our computer wakes up at 525. We run the script at 526 and I get out of bed at 530. Now, when I get out of bed, the web page will be loaded, mail will have been checked, and everything's ready for me to go. Hit the save button or command S, and it's saved. Now quit Lingon, and we're ready to go. Now the one final step we have to do before this will actually work is we have to log out and log back in again. When we log back in again, it will quote prime the script, and then it will run the script every time, every day, at 526. Now, if my computer is asleep at 526, then as soon as I wake it up, if I wake up 8 o'clock or 12 o'clock or even 1 o'clock, it will run the script after it wakes up. So we can set it to run at 3 o'clock a.m. And then if you don't have your computer automatically waking up, then whenever you open up your computer, it runs the script and you're ready to go. Also, the advantage of doing it this way is we can edit our script as we want. So if we change this delay to 15 seconds and save the script, we don't have to re-log out and log back in again, it will automatically run the script. As a final note, I've had two people unsubscribe because of my, my tips are too technical, those are two people that I know of. So if any of these tips are too technical or too advanced, feel free to email me, I can help you along with it, and you, you know, tell me, and you know, I can help you. So email me, mactipper at gmail.com, and thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing.